hi besties welcome back to my youtube channel my name is purity if you're new here and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so so much for all the love that you show me i am so grateful i don't know if you can tell from my voice but i feel a little bit sick today and i so please manage my voice i remember last week a bestie texted me to you know ask me why i stopped posting food recipes and i was like no i didn't stop actually i just have them inside my you know normal lifestyle vlogs and she was like oh would love to see you know normal recipes the way you usually post them before so i decided to you know film this one and upload it for you guys so i am trying to make a goosey soup and i am going to take you guys step by step through the process trust me you're going to learn one or two or ten so yeah i just came to the market to get the things that i'll be needing you know you have to get your egusi you have to get your protein don't skip your you know um is it, I, I usually use pumpkin leaf dough and then I got um, my fish, I got peppers and everything that I will be needing. So yeah, just stay tuned. You guys, it started raining in the market and you guys, I hate being at the market when it's raining. Like I hate it so much because, you know, the ground is going to be sticky and all of that. Anywho. Anywho, I got home and this was everything I got at the market. I got some tribe and some more. You guys, if you want to make a goosey soup, please ensure that you're buying tribe. Like, it's so nice. And this is my ram meat and goat meat. I only got goat meat because I had goat meat in the house, but I got this one because it was ridiculously cheap and I don't know where they got it from. So I decided to use the opportunity to get some. And that's my ram meat. I have ram meat. I had it in the freezer, so I just brought it out. And this is my fish and then my pumpkin that i also got at the market so yeah this is my melon i don't know i had melon in the house and my mother brought for me but somehow because i said don't cook egg soup or melon soup it just go bad so i had to get you know fresh one at the market so this is my ram meat that i'm going to be using i feel like it's not enough yeah it's not enough so i just decided to add in throw in like you know five pieces some pieces of goat misha inside so that it will be enough for me to use so yeah ground meat eh? hmm. i don't know people some people don't eat it sha but ground meat is so good like it's so sweet it's so so sweet so yeah this are the this is the protein i'm going to be using plus my tribe and my fish and my pomo and my stock fish i know i also got stock fish but i don't know why it's in this video so i know it's going to definitely be enough so i'm just going to pour that in a bowl now and i'm going to wash it again i already washed it before but i'm going to wash it thoroughly again before i cook it
next thing I did was to debone my fish since my baby is going to be eating this meal and I went ahead to boil them together. One mistake people make is to boil their fish alongside their meat at the same time but it is wrong because fish needs a lesser time to cook. So what I do is to boil my meat and everything and then last minute I just throw in my fish because I just want the fish to share in the flavor you get and then once that was done i took my proteins all of it as from the pot and i allowed my pot to heat a little bit and i poured in some oil some palm oil that i'm going to be using for this soup um i like to use such as tomato for my soup as well as fresh tomato but i didn't have fresh tomatoes i didn't buy so i just used such as tomato it's nice also it just adds to the flavor of the soup generally so i used two sachets of that and i fried it together i allowed it to fry for three to five minutes so once that was frying i brought in my blended onion i already blended it and i kept it in the freezer easy before but i did not allow it to get frozen i just brought it out and i added some of it and i stirred that together and allowed it to fry for another three to five minutes <laughs> Guys, this next step is very important the next thing you want to do is to put your grinded onion into your melon put your melon in a bowl and add your grinded onion into it it's, this is just better than mixing with water trust me it's going to mix and it's going to mix evenly that's how i do every time i just pour it in and i mixed it till it was all mixed together thoroughly <music> can see now that it is evenly mixed and i did not even add a single drop of water this is my base for the soup it has fried and i'm just going to go ahead to season it with some salt and maggie cubes just season however you want but just so that you're not seasoning stew there's a different way to season soup and there's another method to season stew so yeah just season and season as you like and you know proceed to do the next step which is to cut in your melon okay guys this is my crayfish like i don't know why people don't use crayfish while they are cooking i recently taught my friend this and she has been so grateful guys put crayfish in your food whatever food you're making if you like it if you don't hate the smell put it in your food it's really nice crayfish has a lot of flavor like a lot of flavor so please put crayfish in your food whenever you're cooking and if you have it yeah so the next thing to do is to take your melon that you've mixed with your onion paste already and start to cut them and roll them into balls like this and throw them into your base when you're done with this please don't stay don't stay at all just drop them in like this and cover put your um, gas your fire on low heat and cover <music> to allow that fry for about 10 minutes and then you open your pot and stay together and then start to add in your proteins at this point i've never added in my fish i'm going to add my fish in last because i don't want my fish to scatter i want to be able to you know pick up fish and eat from my soup so after that i covered again and once that boiled i stirred again mind you i've not added in water into my soup at all the water 
that is in here is the water from my meat so at this point you could season your soup again if you feel like it's not good enough so i decided to season again with some salt and some maggie cubes again and then i stirred and i proceeded to add in some water so i basically just rinsed the um, bowl that i had my melon mixed in i just rinsed it and i added the water it's not going to be enough but i'm going to add water into the soup gradually so i added in some more water to loosen my soup and at this point rain was already screaming that she wants to have it taste you guys Mommy. i'm coming you in leak hold on the food is sweet guys the last thing i did was to add in my fish and once i added in my fish i added in my vegetables please guys don't forget to add your vegetables they're very important and also don't forget that it shouldn't last more than three minutes on fire once you've added in your vegetables and guys this is how my soup came out it's looking so good and it was so delicious please let me know if you're going to be trying out this recipe and thank you so much for watching my vlog Vlogs. I'm grateful. I love you guys. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.